<laughs> There's a few old belters in there, oh, isn't gosh, there? A wow. Few. I don't know, I just, I, th watching that just then, it kind of makes me pinch myself because I'm very lucky to be able to say I've done those amazing shows and now going into Chicago. I'm a lucky, lucky, lucky girl. Well, you're such a hard-working girl. I mean, do you ever stop? No, and you know I don't. I know you don't. I know you <laughs> We're don't. We're trying to arrange coffee and we can't get I know, it in. Because exactly. you're busy as well. But I know. But we're we not love trying to arrange it. coffee with me, Alexandra. I mean, why What's, not? Um... You can do it straight after this. Yeah, yeah let's an do hour. It. Definitely. <laughs> no, it's, I don't stop, but I wouldn't have it any other way. And yeah. for me, keeping busy is, a, is, is for me a mental thing. Um, I like being busy. It's, it's, it's hard being away from my family and stuff and away from Josh and things like that. But... I love what I do and, and I love being on stage and, and you know, I've, I've always dreamt of being on stage from a young girl. So, so the fact that I've won X Factor nearly 10 years ago and here we are and I'm still doing what I love, that's, that's just a blessing. So I just don't, I never take a day for granted. You work hard, but you're a huge amount of talent as well, which yeah, can't be thanks, sort of though. underestimated. Uh, let's talk about Roxy Hart though, because it's yes. an iconic role and a role that you saw on Broadway yes. and went one day, uh -huh. that's going to be mine. Yes, so I saw Brandy do it on Broadway. Yeah. And I remember turning to Josh and going, one day that's going to be me. Three years later, here we are. And it was actually, Gabby Roslin's The amazing Gabby <laughs> Yeah, yes. she's amazing. She's a very dear friend of mine. She put the whole bug into my head months ago and it kind of went radio silent. So I thought in my head, oh, maybe it's just not meant to be. And as time went on, it just happened. And I don't know how it happened, but I've only had three weeks to learn this script. Mm -hmm. I got given it three weeks ago. I've got no, I have no idea how I'm going to execute this role from Monday, but I'm going to try my best. I have big shoes to fill. I know that for a fact because it's such an iconic role. Mm. But I'm going to hopefully give it my own spin. I'm going to put my own little sassy sauce onto it and hopefully people will like it. So we'll see, fingers crossed. They'll love it. It's oh, an, they and, will. And, and so you're in this till, is it till October? October 13th. So yes, what they're doing, because it's just come back, hasn't it, Chicago, yeah. to the West End, having been there for quite a long time. Yep. So what they do brilliantly is they take uh, personalities and they put them into some yes. of the lead roles. Yes. So you're doing it now, so you're taking over the role. Martin's playing Big Martin Finn. Kemp's Martin there. Kemp, yeah, he's amazing. Oh, well, now he's getting on. Oh, my God. coming in a little bit later on. Honestly, he's, he's fantastic. So, of course, someone's got to take over, aren't I know, and I'm just going... Hi, babe. <laughs> now, surely. Come on, girl. Here. You Come know you've got it. No, you, you saw can do it. There's a Roxy here. <laughs> you saw me dancing on Strictly. I should never dance again. No, never and you should again. dance again. And I tell you something right now. You could execute Roxy. You'd be sick. Oh, well, Alex. You would now... be because you're hot. <laughs> we only recently had our engagement party a couple of months ago, and that was amazing. And to have all our loved ones around us was incredible. But I think planning a wedding right now. He's on tour for nearly a year, so it's like, okay, well, when do we get a chance to sit down and have a coffee? Yeah. So I think the main thing is to enjoy being engaged. Uh, in co uh, enjoy calling him my fiance, which yes. you don't, you know, once it's husband and wife, it's, it's done. Yeah. So it's like, enjoy that moment. I want to travel with him more and then we can focus on the wedding at some point very soon, hopefully. Well, he really did nail the engagement, didn't he? I, I remember did. it was straight after Strictly. Uh, two days after the final. I was so Paris. tired. I was sleeping. <laughs> I mean, he woke me up in the car and when he, when he was about to rose, he was like, are you all right? I was like, babe, I'm so knackered. And I didn't know what was going on. I just thought we were just driving around Paris and it was beautiful. And all of a sudden, and you were sleeping. I was sleeping, <laughs> and, and then he woke me up, and then all of a sudden, this ring just popped out of nowhere. Like oh, it's so Josh. he done it so well, and yeah. that considering, you up? I mean, it woke yeah. me up for sure. I was <laughs> in tears, but oh. he's such a sweetheart, and he has a heart of gold. My family adore him, but it's 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 just magical being engaged. I think yeah. it's amazing, and I think for me, it's about enjoying that moment. Mm. Yeah. Undoubtedly, yeah. We, our debate today started with the idea that, that women shouldn't be asked whether they're about to have babies, yeah. or shouldn't be asked about their situation. You, you work in the public eye yes. and you've, got, you've just got engaged. Is it something that you've come across? Is it something you have an opinion about, Alexandra? Do you well, get fed up with people constantly no, pressurising you about it? Not really. The only person that really gave me, my, gave me pressure was my mum. Really? She always wanted me to have a kid and stuff. Um, and it, I wouldn't call it pressure. I wanted to be a young mum, but it just never quite worked out. And I think yeah. you don't rush these things. Yeah. I never get fed up with people asking me because I think kids are beautiful and if you can have them, that's a, such a blessing. Yeah. I do want a family at one point. I mean, you've known me for years. Yeah, but, yeah. You yeah. both have. So yeah. it's like, for me to say that, it's such a big deal. I'm not ready for it right now, but hopefully in the next couple years, mm. maybe three, four years, I'm open to the idea of settling. Um, you know, it, it was definitely my mum's dream. So hopefully one day I can start my own family and... And, you know, if I could be 5% of what my mum was as a mother, then I'm she winning in life. Incredible. She was incredible. She was incredible. Yeah. Continues to be a huge influence on your life. Absolutely. And I know that you've set up the Melissa Bell Foundation yes. to honour that. What's, what's yes. involved and how's it going? Well, basically, I'm doing it with my dear friend, Nick Eid, and um, we are having a massive gala on October 14th, the day after I finish Chicago, okay. at Café de Paris. And it, we are basically just uh, holding an event in 
it's basically for strokes. Um, not many people actually know that my mum passed away because of a stroke. Mm. And it's been some confusion to us why she passed away, but I've never spoken about that. And I just want to honour her name and honour her legacy with doing this. Uh, Nick, my friend, his mum also died of a stroke. So there's a connection there. We just want to do it for anyone that's had family members that suffered from this and bring joy back to their lives and remembering their loved ones as well. Um, my part of the charity, or well, my foundation, is going to give um, some children scholarships, uh, summer scholarships at Sylvia Young. Amazing. So that's wow. what we're raising money for. So Sylvia is a massive part of this as well. Yeah. Uh, I've always wanted to go to her school when I was a child, and just to have her involved, I think my mum would be really proud Incredibly of that. Incredibly proud. So, so proud of you, fingers Alex. crossed that that so can proud. go well, but I just want to keep her name alive.